So, we're gonna, this is gonna be like a demonstration video on how to make pickles. And the reason I, I Ish know how to do this is because he actually works at a pickle factory. <laughs> so he's telling me basically what to do because I have zero clue. And he's, and that's why we have pickle jars and labels and stuff like that because he brought them home from work. So what you need is a, a jar or anything to put your pickles in. You need I can't, I'm gonna spill it, I'm gonna spill it. Um, salt water or brine. You need cucumbers or curries, I guess. And pickle spices with garlic in it. That's cool. Um, what you use Take a big smell, take a big smell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it does now, not smell very good. And I don't necessarily know what you use to make the pickle spice. There are many different things in the pickling spice, There's many different such things. as dill, pepper, what else, caraway, mustard seeds, what else is he? pepper flakes, and a bunch of other spices. Yeah, so basically you can basically use whatever kind of pickle spices you can find at the store. Okay, so okay. I don't know. What do you do first? What do you put in the jar first? Perfect. So we are both going to pack some pickle jars. And exactly. of course you wash your hands before. Come on. So, but you basically just take, take three three cucumbers, oh, and without dropping them, uh, now actually we're doing. Okay, you get a shovel in, you get up, line it up. We still have another jar to make. Yeah, we're going to make two on the camera. I can't show this one in. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of me. So, you basically put the... I'm using my dad's, the pickles, the cucumbers, or Kirby's, we're using Kirby's, right? We're using Kirby's in a jar, and yeah. And you could, there is such thing as pickled tomatoes, but you don't do the same recipe, so don't try this on tomatoes, because I don't think it's going to work, is it? Mm -hmm. It's not going to work, he said it's not going to work. But now, what do we do? You put it in this plate, you have a plate. And we're putting it in a plate. <laughs> Just to keep it clean. Without spilling water. Salt water everywhere. Well, first we gotta put the spice in. So. I'll do the spice. So then you take your pickle spice. Oh, wait, tell them how, approximately how many Kirby's fit in a jar. Approximately seven Kirby's in a jar. So, for Kirby's, we put exact, uh, approximately seven, I guess, in. And you eyeball the spices. You eyeball the spices, about a pinch. And you... And then, the and then you fill up the rest with the pickling brine. And for the spices, you eyeball it, I guess, however you The ratio is supposed to be 70% Kirby or cucumber and 30% pickling brine. And how much percent um, that's it, that's it. spices? Just a pinch. And for the spices, you take a pinch and put it in. A, big, a big pinch. A big pinch, <laughs> like a child handful, an adult pinch. And then for the pickle brine, you fill it up till, till the top. And now you put. Take the cover. <laughs> pickle covers. Ooh. And do it tight. <laughs> and if you don't, you're obviously you're not having jars at home. What are you? What can you use instead of jars? You have to buy a jar or a sealable container. A sealable container, like, and then you have some very fancy fancy labels that he made. Oh, can't see it backwards. It says Dr. Cooner's Snacks Class. He made them, not me. I have no clue what oh. how to make it. And so obviously you're not going to have fancy fancy labels, but you do. And if you do, put them on and beautiful. And what kind of pickles are these? They are half sour pickles, and they will be ready to eat by tomorrow. By tomorrow, they're gonna be ready for you to eat. When, when I, we say tomorrow, I mean the day that you make them, and that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Simple. And what if you want to make sour pickles? If you want them to turn sour, you leave them out of the refrigerator for a week, and they will turn sour on their own. So after you, if you want them to turn sour, you put them in the fridge for one day and you can eat them half sour and then you leave them out for a week and they'll become sour pickles. And then that's it. <laughs> Don't try this on tomatoes because it's not going to turn out right. Tastes different. Good. So yeah, bye. So apparently.
Apparently, according to this label. Your poppy. <laughs> what? Your poppy gave it. According to my grandpa, um, this is like a family business, something like that. And so they wrote on their label, if you eat pickles for a hundred years, you will live a long time. <laughs> I don't know. But eat pickles, kids.